Pentart Stone Effect Paste is a very thick water-based paste that can produce stone or marble effect. They can be mixed together or layered. It's available in eight colors and here we have limestone, anthracite, cement, terracotta, brown granite, sandstone, and clay. I've prepared this tag using a palette knife and stone paste effect in the cement color. This is going to act as the mortar in between the bricks in this stencil. And I'm going to use three different colors to get the effect of bricks. First we have terracotta. Hold your stencil down firmly and push it in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of the brown granite. And I'm just going to apply, apply this in little sections and press it in. And lastly, I'm going to use the sandstone. Again, you just need a little bit, and you can always go back and add more later. Grab your two sides and pull it up, and you have a beautiful brick effect. Using both a palette knife and a brush, I use three different colors to create this frame. I used clay, brown granite, and sandstone to get this look. After about 24 hours, I used sandpaper to sand it back and got a beautiful smooth finish. Here I did something completely different and used a stone effect paste but then used metallic waxes on top. I used a mix of blue and green metallic wax as well as a touch of honey gold. Using the limestone stone effect paste through a stencil on this book, I created a raised stencil. And then while it was still wet, I added a little bit of the Pentart Eco Glitter in silver and that gave it a pretty sparkle. For this glass jar, I used a stencil brush and applied the brown granite, terracotta, and just a touch of the sandstone to make these three colors come together. So. Stone effect paste can also be used in molds. Here I'm going to use anthracite with a palette knife and just apply it into your mold, pressing down so you don't have any air bubbles. Fill your entire mold, and then you have to wait approximately 24 hours until it's hardened. I waited about 18 hours, so you can just take it out. So it will be firm. You won't be able to bend it around corners. If you'd like, you just leave it like this. You can put wax on top. You could paint them or you can dry brush with a little acrylic paint and it will bring out all the details.